the vision shown in this video has been recorded in a controlled setting for the purpose of product installation demonstration purposes only. A heritage-inspired profile, Lysard Baroque features wide flat pans defined by generous semicircular ribs, at once delivering a strong linear visual which is gentled by the unusual rounded rib form. This profile offers a unique visual character which sits easily with both traditional and contemporary architecture. This video will consider the double rib profile roofing installation procedure as the fixing methodologies are much the same for both roofing and walling. As part of the Lysart Zenith range, this profile is supported by the comprehensive Zenith Roofing and Walling Design and Installation Manual. You will benefit from referring to this installation video and the detailed non-cyclonic manual together. Lysart Baroque is available in cover widths from 180mm to 475mm with two standard sizes of 275mm and 475mm for maximum economy and efficiency. Baroque comes in 0.55mm base metal thickness or 0.75mm base metal thickness for special projects. As this profile is a bespoke traditionally folded profile, it is limited to 4 metre lengths. Double or single rib options are available. The double rib profile is pierced fixed through the crest of the rib. With the single rib system, fixed via a separate rib bracket using semi-concealed rivets. Screw fix using high grip hex head screws with crest fix seals. For single rib applications, use aluminium rivets to fix the profile to the rib bracket. Install Lysart Baroque over a structural ply substrate for both roofing and walling applications. Ensure the plywood has a minimum 20mm ventilation space below to reduce condensation issues. Plywood needs to be a structural CD grade suitable for flooring applications. Install as per manufacturer's recommendations. It is good practice to install a heavy duty roof sarking for both roofing and wall applications across all the Lysart Zenith range profiles as an additional weatherproofing measure. Make all laps in the sarking with a 150mm lap. Tape with sizolation tape on at least the outside face. Best practice would be to seal the lap with double sided tape first. Ensure there are no ripples or puckers. Seal at the top. Follow the manufacturer's installation recommendations. For maximum weather tightness, lay sheets toward prevailing weather. Before lifting sheets onto the roof, check that they are the correct way up. Also, that the overlapping side is toward the edge of the roof from which installation will start. You will find this much easier and safer than trying to turn sheets on the roof. Place bundles of sheets over or near firm supports, not at mid-span of roof members. Order roof sheeting cut to the length of your roofing run, plus an allowance for overhang. For example, into a standard gutter, this may be 50mm extra. Design the pan width of the sheets to allow an even span across the roofing area, ensuring equal barge flashing widths. As this profile is a variable width product, profile specific turn up, turn down tools are not available from Lysart. Select the most appropriate size tool appropriate to your pan width from the various size tools commercially available. To create the turn up, at the top of the sheet, fit the tool over the end of the tray as far as it will go. Then push the handle to form a turn up as close to 90 degrees as possible. Based on the width of your tool, you may need to gradually work the turn angle along the edge of the pan until the angle is achieved. Take care not to tear the corner edges of the turn up. You can turn up sheets anytime. If you do it after they are fixed, make sure there is sufficient clearance to operate the tool effectively. At the gutter end of the sheet, turn down the sheet pan to approximately 20 degrees using the same procedure. 
Turning down is often done after the sheeting is fixed on the roof, providing there is no obstruction to the operation of the turn down tool. Position the first sheet to align parallel with the building edge to ensure that the barge flashings are equal on each side of the building. Attention should be given to aligning the first sheet considering the roof run and sheeting cover. Set the planned gutter overhang, in this case 50 millimetres. Place screws through the rib closest to the building edge to hold the sheet in position at each end of the sheet. These screws will later be removed and replaced by screws through the barge flashing. It is good practice to double check alignment to ensure there is no creep as the install progresses. Remove protective film from both edges of the sheets to be fixed. Place a bead of silicon along the leading edge of the underlap rib to prevent capillary attraction of water through the rib crest. Align the next sheet over the underlap rib and screw fix the sheet through the rib crest, top and bottom. Repeat this process for the roof run. Now complete the screw fixing. Mark each edge ridge at centres appropriate to your wind region. Complete the screw fixing of both end sheets. Align your rows of screws using a line or similar. Screw fix the remainder of the row. Repeat across the remaining ridge rows. To complete the roof installation, now fit the barge and ridge flashings. The Australian standard for design of flashings are referenced both in HB39 2015 and the Zenith Design and Installation Manual. Our manual covers the common roof flashing detail, including hip and valleys. Lysart produce all of these and any custom flashings to suit your individual requirements. The barge flashing needs to cover from the building external wall to over the sheeting first rib to provide a weather-tight solution. The arrangement of the barge cap design and fitting is predominantly personal choice, but here is a suggested best practice method from a common installation scenario. First, remove all screws from the first rib on each side of your roofing run where your capping will be fitted. Be sure to order your barge cappings over length. Start barge folding preparations at the gutter end first by measuring, marking and cutting the fold over to the height of the Baroque rib, 25mm. Push the prepared gutter end into place, aligning with the laid sheet ends at the ridge end of the sheet. While sitting in place, measure and mark cuts and notching. Cut to fit. Remove end sheet protective film away from where the barge capping will sit. Place prepared barge capping in place, ready to fix. At the spacing previously used, screw fix the barge cap through the end sheet ridges. Complete the opposing side barge capping in the same manner.
Once both barges are installed, it's time to install the ridge cap. Design the ridge cap to cover the top of the roof sheeting by a minimum of 150 millimetres to allow the toes of the ridge flashing to sit well into the roof pan. Remove the top row of screws. Position the ridge cap flashing in place and then mark to allow notching and detailing around the barge top ends. Measure and cut ends to allow a 5 mil overlap 45 degrees across the barge junction. Notch. Check and adjust fit as needed. Mark at each rib to previously made screw hole in roofing sheet. And screw fix ridge cap through roof sheet at each rib. Brush or blow off swarf created. At the ridge barge junctions, mark off and drill 40mm rivet centres. Ensure a good silicon seal. Rivet fix and clean off excess sealant. The final task is to remove any protective film left on the sheets and give the completed surface an overall clean to ensure any mist, potentially rust staining swarf is removed.